Native Show. Today we're here with Miss Farrell Bastian, and she's one of the pillars in the community here in Gregory Town. This is the 32nd annual Pineapple Festival, and Miss Bastian has played a significant part over the years. So tell us about some of the history um, that you would have experienced coming down to the Pineapple Festival. Well, it was not just coming down because I actually um, coordinated the pineapple cooking contest yes. when we had five categories. So that was quite different from what is going on now. And I did everything pertaining to getting sponsors and uh, prizes and everything else. I did that on my own. And that went on for about 28, at least 28 years. And uh, I thought it was just fantastic. I enjoyed doing it. So that is why it, it succeeded uh, to a great degree. Yes. And I enjoyed it. And that's wonderful. Any of those uh, years, the, the competitions, the experiences back then, what stood out, what event in particular stood out in your mind's eye? Event or just the cooking contest? Well, both actually. Because, because you know, we have, we have the... Uh, Pineapple princesses, and they have always been ex excellent, and the regular pineapple uh, princess. So we had the juniors and we had the senior girls, and that was always fantastic. And I had a granddaughter who won it, and I don't think anybody else compared to it again. Yes. But I'm not being that biased. But also the cooking contest was really fantastic because we learn all sort of different stuff. And it's amazing what pineapple can be mixed with and make such a difference. Fantastic. I had a son who did the, the uh, Black and Conk, which is in, in the, the, the uh, magazine on the Bahamas Air. And a daughter who did this, the Bake Stuff Grouper with the pineapple uh, stuffing. So there were so many magnificent things that, that went on. And we've got some wonderful recipes. And I'm hoping that one day we'll be able to put a, a, a book together with all of these recipes. Excellent. Now, Mistress Bastian, tell us a little bit about your background. I um, uh, well, I worked at the Bayside, and I worked at the Nassau Beach for 20 years at the Howard Johnsons, and after th 20 years, I went and I opened the third for thir 15 and a half years. I worked at the Howard Johnsons Bayside in British Colonial Hotel, and that's where I left. I and when they closed, then of course, uh, me out of a job. But I've always said that whenever I retire, I will come in Eleuthera to live, and I've been here since 93. 93? Yes. yes. And uh, so you have a tremendous background in hospitality. How has Eleuthera changed in your mind's eye from then to now? Um, not just Eleuthera. I, I, I really didn't, I wasn't for all of the, this move here, but I find it to be so fantastic because you've got room, you've got shelter, and everything else. So we've got to move at the time. And, you know, we've got to accept change and try it before we knock it down. And I am telling you, the hardest working persons is those tourism people that we have in Eleuthera. They work and they work very diligently. And I, it didn't matter to me what I had to do to make a difference. And my, my uh, walk through with the, base, uh, with the Howard Johnsons, I've been fortunate. I've been to Switzerland. I've been to London. I've been to Ireland. I've been all over the way because of my working with the Howard Johnson's Absolutely. company. So your being an ambassador for tourism has served you well? To a great degree. Yes, ma'am. Very great yes, degree. Yes. Well, I'm very sure that the persons in tourism want to commend you. Uh, you're still quite a person that is recognized here. And uh, as the old saying goes, they want to give you your flowers and show you that appreciation. And you are to be commended for your service. Thank you ever so much. And I just wish that we had more persons who would come forward because while this life, there's hope. 